Right, I've uh, just literally this moment uh, taken delivery of this DC to DC converter and uh, as you can see I've put a 9 volt battery on the input and the adjustment potentiometer is turned all the way down and we're getting 0.5 half a volt on the output. Now what I'm going to do is start turning it up here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we pass straight through nine volts and just keep going. 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 25. And that started ticking. And it tops out at 30 volts. And this is not a buck converter and it's not a boost converter. It's actually a buck boost converter and it's a special type called SEPIC which uh, look at Wikipedia stands for single ended primary inductor converter. And the circuit's quite complicated. You've got um, an input capacitor, uh, first inductor here, uh, the switch which will be the MOSFET this is a series capacitor, so all the power of the system passes through that series capacitor. A second inductor, a diode, and then the output uh, capacitor. And if we look at the board, you can see clearly that there are two inductors. Let's just wait for the camera to focus up. There we are. Um, MOSFETs here. The little chip there, the little 8-pin chip, that's the uh, control chip that's uh, controlling the system. Here's the diode, the output diode. Now, these two capacitors here, these two monolithic multi-layer ceramics, are pretty certainly are this capacitor here, the series capacitor. And I re re reckon the reason they're using ceramics is because the voltage on here could possibly be polarized in either direction. So that's why they're not using electrolytics. Of course, they're using electrolytics for the input capacitor and uh, the output capacitor. So that's a SEPIC converter. So here's the eBay listing, and you can see that um, in the title it's got 25 watts. Now this was the more expensive of two of these SEPIC converter I bought. This one was uh, $6.90, £4.41. Uh, it's from Chip Partner. Now if I scroll down, you can see in the data that uh, the input voltage is from 3 to 15. The output voltage is anywhere from half a volt to 30. Input current, 3 amps max, power 25 watts max, conversion efficiency 95% max. It even says it has uh, short circuit output protection, which is pretty impressive. Now what I like about this is the way that you can seamlessly glide through the one-to-one -one input and output voltage. You can have 8 volts on the output, through 9 volts, and up to 10 volts. And that can't be done. You can't do that on a buck converter. You can't do that on a boost converter. Uh, buck converter, you can only come within a volt of uh, the input. Boost converter, similarly, you're going to be a little bit over. But this one can just glide through that midpoint. It's brilliant. Now, I'm interested in 12-volt uh, systems using 12-volt batteries. So what I like about this is that you could put a lead-acid 12-volt battery on the input and get a regulated 12 volt DC on the output, even if the lead acid battery drops to 11 volts if it's a bit low, or rises up to 14 and a half volts if it's being charged either from uh, a solar panel or from uh, a vehicle alternator. So that's, that's it, that's the buck boost converter or SEPIC converter. Um, as I say, this was the uh, expensive one at uh, $6.95. I also bought this cheap one uh, which is also a buck boost sepic converter, £1.69. be interesting to see what that one's like.